one piece and no nothing. And I'm not the only one. It's a whole legacy. I could go Vernon Spear, Joseph Hill, Bob. I can go to list, Rusty. The so roll call. Tell me about your art. I mean, well, it's, it's the same, but it's different. Well, this is, again, like I... I I'll I'm turn the light on. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh, thank you. A little bright for my... <laughs> Yeah, here These are some go. commercial pieces. Commercial pieces. I have four thousand original pieces in in my in my catalog mm. that covers from the jazz to the rasta to reggae stars uh, and album covers that I've done over the years for different people and different things and you know. So, so you'd still do our uh, graphic artwork if somebody wanted the album cover? Absolutely, like mm -hmm. absolutely. Especially you know for job works, mm -hmm. you know. And then yeah, I yeah. still, I'm a, I still have to feed my family. That's right. You know, so you know. But no, man, um, I'm down to work with in any position. I, I'm, a, I'm a videographer. You know? So tell them about how you freed up some advertisement space in South Central one time with a well, projection screen. <laughs> <laughs> we had this thing called um, again Radio Free South Central and so the thing was we wanted to do what we called um, like a flash mob thing but with projection so I, I, I got my my projector my big screen projector but they weren't flash mobbing then no it was ahead of the game right, then right, right. well see I'm, I'm East Coast oh that's right so you're going to be ahead and so we we had on the East Coast, we would go back and we would take a warehouse, abandoned warehouse, and pipe electric in it and put lights in it and throw the baddest party of the year there. Sure, sure. You understand? So not too many places do that, like Africa, Jamaica, where we come in without, with no off the grid and shit and pl plug up and turn it out. Yep, and be gone. And be gone. <laughs> so that was the whole concept. So I had this big screen projector and I would go advertising the bands in the gigs and the spots with live video footage that I would project. I'd go up in Hollywood and, and pull up in my car and I had all my shit contained with my with my battery self contained, you know, generator and all that and I would flash it. Flash forty feet tall on the wall. Sound had my speakers and they blur and we would make, you know make a riot. Clean up and be gone before the police or anybody come and we would do that, you know. So that was that was uh um, Something I picked up, man, like I said, from the 70s, you know, from the Black Panther so era. You were just playing your horn and do a little thing. Could you do a little bit of that for my audience? I love when you were doing that. You were just playing your horn and you had something to say. Because you're a poet, aren't you? Or were you are you a rapper? No, man. You a, are you a rapper? Yeah, like, I'm a rapper. I'm guard yeah, I'm a rapper. rapper. Yes, yes, yes. It, you have this a is, book? This is an original <gasps> book of poetry. Can people get this? On eBay or somewhere? Well, Where do they get it? Amazon? Right now, call you? It's, it's out of production. I have to go back in production with it. It's sold out. Ah, it's look it's at called that. The Return of the Medicine Man. See this? Nice. Collectible. Somebody out there got one of these. You better hold on to it. So at one time, we was about nice. products. Nice. You know, I, I, I was doing all nice. kinds of ceramic work. Nice. And, you know. Um, so all this is original artwork, and then I designed and printed this book. Since you're a real Rastaman, tell them about your wonderful queen. Yes, my beautiful queen, Sister Waletta. Uh, Sister Waletta is. Uh, what can I say about Sister Waletta? Did just, you meet you her last, last week? Mm -hmm. How long you been with her? We've been together for over thirty-three years. Uh, we met in Hawaii. Mm. 33 years, 32 years ago. This year would be 33 years on the, on the spring equinox. Mm. And um, she's a hardcore Rasta sister. I mean, just beautiful spirit. And uh, she's up north now at the restaurant. We have a restaurant in uh, oh, she's Northern good with California. Food. Oh, God. So called our uh, soul sisters. Yes. So I'm down here with the grandkids, you know. So economically, we trying to piece this thing together which has always been our thing to be off the grid alternative economics and so that's why the products that's what the products is about you know I mean creating jobs creating uh, outlet you know this is something again like I said that Rasta always is about being self-reliant you still have this email 
Uh, no, I have a different email. Just All right, so I want to read this to my audience. It says, Bongo Rasta, The Return of the Medicine Men. A ship of human healing is on course, sailing the universe with a global message in mind. From a tribe of Africans in the western frontier to the end of the diaspora, the poetry, art, and music of Brother Bongo express the story of our journey through jazz, soul, funk, blues, and reggae, which can be heard in this dub poet style, The Return of the Re Medicine Man. And your group, when you pull it together, they call themselves the Medicine Men. But that is your vehicle, one of your many vehicles of chopping it up. This book is so beautiful. My God. Grow Your Own, Money Tree, International Farmer. Can't blame the youth. Hmm. Would you like to hear a couple cuts from this? Yes, I would. Let's, let's, let's see if we can put that up for you. Now, what is this little screen? Is this an iPad screen you're using? Yeah, man. This it is, has so many numbers on it, it don't even look like an iPad. I don't know what that was. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is a course in um, jazz um, theory. Wow. And, uh, so this is the beautiful thing about the technology, Esther. So, you know, I've I'm, I'm always been about the education, but I, I refuse to go to any university and college, Esther. And so I, I believe that, you know, that a man, I don't need to be validated by Babylon's system. My intelligence, my, my spirituality will be expressed through my works. And we let Jah be the judge, Rustin. So, so you're teaching yourself, you're all everything. Everything, that's what's so beautiful all about this thing is everything on here. I mean, I have fine art classes on here. So I'm always a student, you know, yeah. you, you, I, I, you know. Because this so My mentor, Michael Blaze is doing the same thing. He's up all night looking at tutorials how to edit right, stuff. Right. <laughs> so three years he said he spent on one thing. So I'm always a student. Nice. So we're gonna hear some of his music. I'll be right back.